Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. It is going to be chilly out there today. Here we are at the end of March, but boy, temperatures are going to be 15, 20 degrees below average in many areas today. So it's jacket weather. The good news is yesterday's huge windstorm, which was quite impressive across especially parts of northern and northwestern Wyoming, where winds gusted to 90 miles an hour or more. Not nearly as much wind today, but plenty of cold air. There's going to be some snow showers in Florida, especially in Colorado, the Denver metro area down to Colorado Springs, getting a little bit of light snow early today. And we'll see a little bit down there, but just a few flurries elsewhere. It's just going to be a cold day. Now, the weather improves tomorrow, the last day of March, but it's still going to be a touch on the cool side. But tomorrow, more sun and a little less wind. Where we really bust out is Thursday. We're still looking at a big warm up coming Thursday through Easter Sunday, and that warm up may happen well into early next week as well. It is really going to get spring like, and spring fever will be running rampant by the end of the week and through early next week. There's no big storm system through the rest of this week and into early next week. And that's not necessarily a good thing because after that great moisture we've had here in March, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, we need to follow up April and May with more wet weather. But April is going to start off warm and dry for the most part. This is to show you how cold it's going to be today. These are the forecasted high temperatures relative to average. So the numbers you see aren't the forecasted temperature, but how far off of average they are. So you got a lot of green and blue there and some purple. So all across the Great Basin and the Intermountain West, it's going to be a chilly, cold Tuesday out there. And temperatures are going to remain chilly into tomorrow. This is why northwest winds aloft bringing air out of western Canada into the region. So we're always chilly when you get a high pressure ridge along the west coast like that, that opens the door to Canada. However, we're going to see this high get replaced by a low and that's going to reverse the fortunes. But we're going to be under this northwest flow through Wednesday. So that's why tomorrow, while not as cold, tomorrow is still going to be a little bit cool. But you can start to see it warming up along the west coast, the Pacific Northwest coast of Montana and the colder air then shifts more off to the east. So today we got to suffer through some pretty chilly temperatures. Tomorrow, the sun's out, but it's a little cool. But by Thursday, this is by Thursday, we have a ridge of high pressure building in because we have a low coming into the Gulf of Alaska. Winds aloft come in, we get high pressure, we're gonna have a warm up, and this is gonna be impressive. This is by Friday. These are temperatures relative to normal. Notice, Temperatures really warming up. Look at the Dakotas and parts of Montana really warming up. Warming up through uh, the valley, Snake River Valley of Idaho, then all across the Great Basin warming up. You may notice it maybe not as warm here. You probably know why. The ground is still wet from the snowstorm, so the temperature is a little slower to warm up where the ground is the wettest. But look at this by Saturday and by Easter Sunday. We have a broad ridge of high pressure that goes coast to coast, a big area of high pressure that builds across the nation. So warm air is just going to come up out of the desert states and out of the western coast and just warm up the entire central and southern part of the United States. The jet stream is retreating way up to the north. So you're going to get temperatures like this on Sunday. Look at this. These are 20, 25 degrees above average. So we're going to have a really big warm up and we're going to be looking at temperatures staying warm probably through Monday. These are the forecasted high temperatures for Sunday. You can see 70s and 80s across Wyoming, 60s and 70s. Uh, just really warm all across the area. Arizona, the deserts of California starting to see some 90s. So I guarantee you the next uh, big outbreak of let's say a, a, a virus is going to be the virus of spring fever that people are going to be getting this weekend. Precipitation wise, over the next 10 days, you can see some green here, especially over Colorado, some blue. Well, I'll tell you that almost all of this precipitation, at least right here, is happening today from the showers of snow in Colorado. The rest of this moisture is really not going to arrive 
in the form of showers until the early parts of next week. And we see this. This is by next Thursday. We have a frontal system coming into the northern Rockies, a week low into California, but there is no major system queued up for a good seven days or so, maybe eight days. So it's a forecast that is dry. And if you were to look at the 10 day average compared to normal, this takes us through 9th. This takes us through April 9th through next Friday. You can see that most of the lower 48 is going to be drier than normal. Then right here in the Western United States, April off to a drier than normal start. And we don't want that to last too long. I know we're all going to enjoy this warm up and the sunshine and the warmer, drier conditions coming. We all really need a break and we're going to get it. But it also is an April that starts off dry and we don't want that trend to go too much longer. Sea surface temperatures, La Nina kind of roaring back here. Look at that. In the last week, the sea surface temperatures have dropped again, and we continue to see the cooling along the west coast. So La Nina did back down a little bit in mid-March, but now here we're going into early April, and it's showing that it is still robust and still is hanging on and will likely go well into April. We'll keep you updated in the coming weeks as La Nina progresses, retreats, or kind of holds firm. Thanks for watching and listening to the Day Weather Podcast. Keep a jacket handy today, but make it tea time for the weekend.